This video demonstrates estimation of aerodynamic centers for the Clark Y airfoil and other airfoils using CFD and or experimental data. What you're seeing here is the lift and drag and pitching moment coefficients as a function of angle of attack obtained from a simulation. And the last curve is where the pitching moment has been recomputed using a different center and as you can see this curve here is much uh, more constant as a functional angle of attack. In fact the aerodynamic center may be defined as a point at which the pitching moment is almost constant over a substantial range of angle of attack. This center is often set to the quarter chord point but a slightly different center can dramatically reduce the variation of pitching moment with angle of attack as you can see here and in two other examples that I'll be showing to you. Now the simulation ran for quite a few cycles and the angle of attack was changed by two degrees every 2000 cycles and you can see that the lift is quite well defined until you start reaching the point of stall and the same thing is more or less true for the drag and the normalized density residuals are well below 10,000 over most of the range of the simulation until you reach the stall condition. Now when this simulation was run it also made a series of estimates of the aerodynamic center for various angles of attack and as we move along more and more data is included in the estimation for the uh, aerodynamic center. In this particular case the estimate was taken from a 9 degrees angle of attack. Now the NACA 12 case was at a somewhat higher Reynolds number. Several uh, million uh, we also had experimental data for this test case. It was a good match until you reach the the stall condition both in the lift and in the drag. Slightly less match uh, for the pitching moment coefficient but still fairly good and this last blue curve is with the uh, change in the uh, center used to compute uh, the pitching moment and it's much more constant uh, uh, for a larger range of uh, angle of attack and I also using the same conditions uh, ran a simulation using a cambered airfoil which is this one here as one would expect the uh, lift is higher because of the camber but the drag is very similar and again I've uh, com recomputed the pitching moment using a different uh, aerodynamic center and in this case this was taken from uh, 16 degrees angle attack rather than 12 degrees angle attack in the from a NECA 12 uh, airfoil and the other thing I should point out is that I'm using the negative of the pitching moment in this case so that you can more easily see what's going on on these curves now this NACA 12 test case is covered in much more detail in a validation document which comes with the code and is also on my website and that one describes uh, attached and detached flow around the RAE2822 airfoil as well as um, the uh, NACA 12 test case that I've been describing to you and it discusses the calculation of pitching moments in quite a bit of detail and in particular it uh, displays curves of pitching moments using different centers uh, which are taken from the the uh, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 and 14 degrees angles of attack and as you can see um, as you go along you get uh, more or less uh, constant uh, 
values of uh, uh, pitching moment coefficient up to a certain point. Now, I'm now going to indicate how these curves were produced, values of, how, how the values are estimated for the aerodynamic center. And when the simulation is run, it outputs a listing and the information in the various dialogues of the GUI are uh, reproduced for uh, reference. And I'm using SSTK Omega uh, model with uh, standard parameters without a wall function. And the simulation was run at Mach 0 0.044 at uh, one atmosphere and close to room temperature and this corresponded to a flow speed of 15 meters per second. I have done the calculation it's 16 meters per second uh, uh, you have four times the uh, Reynolds number with uh, basically almost the same aerodynamic center being output and uh, Also output is the Reynolds number, which is 200,000 for this test case. And uh, also output is an estimate for turbulent flow over a flat plate and for, uh, for a, a distance, a length of uh, less than a 2 meter, it would be about uh, 2 times 10 to the minus 5 meters. And this can be used as a guide to uh, adjust uh, uh, any grid that you might be running. Uh, simulation 4 uh, as to how to set the uh, cell sizes etc. Now at various angle attack we output uh, an estimation in this case we're using the estimate for 9 degrees angle of attack And uh, essentially, the simulation takes about 19 minutes. And in this case, I've automatically restarted. Uh, the simulation used the restart files and uh, set the aerodynamic center to what I just uh, indicated. So. In this case here, as you can see, this estimate here corresponds in terms of chords to what we saw on the plot. And uh, this simulation using restart files proceeds in an extremely small amount of time. Now I'll just show you a couple of the uh, dialogues of most interest and uh, it's a steady state solution run for 24,000 cycles and uh, restart files output it at intervals of 2,000 uh, cycles and it's output the uh, estimates and the forces put this file here and uh, uh, for 4,000 cycles at the initial angle of attack of minus 3 degrees and then so every 2,000 cycles we change by 2 degrees and I'm using the KSST model of Minter with a stress limiting that, that varies and this stress limiting is discussed in the validation test uh, document. Let's see, it's a 256 by cells around the uh, airfoil, 32 cells to the far field, and uh, a cord of two, and 25 cords to the far field, and this value here has been adjusted so that uh, the uh, cell height at mid cord is less than the required indicated amount that you saw in the listing, and if we zoom in we can see a good match between the um, curve points input 
from a, a file that it can, can be attained from the internet and the grid itself. If we continue to zoom in, then we can measure that distance, the height of the first cell, and you can see that it's less than 2 times 10 minus meters, which that means that all the values of y plus in our simulation are, are well less than 1, which is required for uh, if you're not using a wall function with your with your um, with your terminus model, which in this case I'm not. All right, I could have, in which case I could have used fewer cells, and I could have used then a an automatic wall function, which is usable for flows around airfoils, which is where there's quite, quite a bit of variation in the cell size near the leading leading and trailing edges. Now, I'll just show you the next script. Whoops, I'm going to save that. I'll save that script. That'll open this restart test, which is the one that was automatically restarted. And uh, in this case here, it uses the restart files to read out the field, flow field output in particular it changes the the um, aerodynamic center and that's done by putting in uh, the new value for the aerodynamic center in this dialog and the output is put into a file with a slightly different name and this material is ignored because it gets the information from the restart files. And uh, one thing I'm going to show you, last thing I'm going to show you, is how experimental data was produced for the uh, NACA 12 test case. In this case here, it reads the data from a file experimental data which contains the angle of attack, the lift, drag, and pitching moan coefficients, and you also have to enter the chord, which is corresponding to the same chord that was used in the simulation for the NACA 12 airfoil, and you also have to uh, enter the correct uh, location of the uh, pitching moment center which was at the quarter point, chord point for this uh, simulation. So for, for this uh, experimental data that was uh, gathered by Ladson, and details of that are in the uh, validation document. And again, the forces are put into a different file, and this input here is ignored. Now, easy flow field when it's set up in your computer comes with a bunch of demonstration scripts this one here involves very low Mach number flow around the NACA 12 airfoil uh, this is laminar flow and uses the preconditioned LUSGS solver for this test case and other scripts that come with the code are uh, one for the Clark Y airfoil, and also some for the for the NACA 12 airfoil, both for the K Omega um, turbulence model and for of the SAT turbulence model. And it also comes with the attached flow around the RAE 2822 uh, airfoil, and it also solves time accurate flows. And this one here involves the um, diffraction of a shock wave around structures. So, thank you for watching this video and if you want more information please visit uh, smartnumerics.com.